right behind me, and we have a beach break. We're here in Indy Atlantic, and it's mostly all beach breaks, and what that means is it's sand, sand bottom, breaks pr pretty close to the beach, really shallow water. It's pretty easy paddle out, it's really close to shore, you're gonna see a lot of barrels, so, you know, it's not necessarily uh, the best learning for everybody. If it's a really big, crunchy day, you might wanna go find something a little bit uh, softer. So, what we're gonna do is take you guys to each spot and then show you how to properly approach paddling out. So, stop one, beach breaks. I'm gonna come up to the beach, visualize what I've got. Today is pretty small, but you still don't wanna get blasted by the first set that rolls through. So, got some little waves coming through right now. I might start to walk down to the water, get about knee deep water, and then wait for the last wave. Once the last wave comes through, start to make your way out. It's better to wait for the set to come through before you go out instead of paddling through it. Same thing applies to the other breaks as well. So, as you can see, I've got a little set coming through right now. Not exactly the best time to go out. So we'll wait for it. Got the white water rolling through. And if you look behind this white water, there's no waves behind it. So this is a good time to paddle out. So when I get up to the water, I'm gonna put my fins on when I'm right by the water. And I'm gonna walk backwards so I'm not tripping on my fins. Watch our old videos to see all the different tips about not falling with your fins. And then honestly, this is the easiest place in the world to paddle out. It's 30 feet off the beach. Once you get in the water and you're in waist deep water, start to swim and you're out there. So for anyone that missed our duck dive section, um, basically going under a wave is a duck dive. I don't know, apparently ducks dive under waves somewhere. So when you're sitting out in the lineup at a beach break, you're more than likely gonna have a very big, steep, pitchy, wave it's not gonna exactly be the most friendly thing in the world so keep that in mind you know if you're learning uh, eight foot day at the wedge in Newport is not necessarily <laughs> learning conditions so pay attention to the swell size and then if you're unsure ask some people in that area you know what's the bottom look like is this a beach break is this a reef break and go from there that being said on small days beach breaks are probably your best bet as a learner and I say that because a reef break, you can hit the bottom and get cut. A pier or an inlet, same thing. You can kind of get yourself sucked under it, and there's all these other things you have to be aware of. So if you are learning to body surf, I would recommend starting at a beach break on a small day. So, um, you know, you have to play it by ear whenever you see a different spot, because they all break differently. So, things to remember about a beach break. Usually close to shore. Usually very shallow. 9 out of 10 times is going to have a sand bottom, which is a good thing because it's safer than rock or reef. And you're going to see some big old crunchy barrels. And uh, that's pretty much it. 